Hey friends, Mark Bardo with The Queermosphere. Welcome everyone. Hope everyone is having a great Sunday. Um, those of you who follow me know that in May, I had to go into the hospital with some stomach issues and tomorrow I get to follow it up with a colonoscopy. So think of me while I'm prepping today and while I have my procedure tomorrow. Yippee! Well, this week also wrapped up Pride here in the United States and here in Omaha, Nebraska, as we had our Pride Parade. So happy Pride, everyone, and I hope everyone had a great month. Let's keep it going and extend it throughout the entire year. This last week brings us a gay couple that will compete together in the dressage event in the Olympics. A young person was happy to see a Pride flag in their small town in Arkansas, and the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus is threatened over a song they created. Let's get started, shall we? Grab some coffee. We're set to begin. Well, a gay couple is set to compete together in the dressage event in the Olympics this year. Hans Peter Minderhound says it's so much fun if you're with someone who precisely understands and knows exactly what you're doing, dedicating all of your time to horses. He said about competing with his partner, Edward Gall. Both are veterans and have competed at the equestrian sport at the Olympics before, including the 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro, where they got fourth place in the team dressage event, and at the 2014 World Championships, where they got bronze. The two men have been together for over a decade, and both have enjoyed competing in dressage events. As they joked, we only need one hotel room now. And while it's rare for a couple to compete in the same event together at the Olympics, they said dressage is pretty LGBTQ friendly, and some of the best competitors in their sport are gay. Best of luck to you both, best of luck to the Dutch, and I hope we can get a queer win. A small town queer kid goes viral in this heartwarming story after leaving an anonymous note about a woman's pride flag in Arkansas. Stephanie Roberts in Paris, Arkansas, with population of 3,413, put a pride flag in front of her house after her 30-year-old son gave it to her last year. However, she was not expecting the flag to have an impact, especially on one young human in her neighborhood. She received a note that said, Hello, this is probably kind of weird, but I walk past your house every day and I notice your flag, and I'm glad to know there's at least one ally in this little town. She immediately called her son, and he promptly posted it on Twitter, and it got over 750,000 likes. Well, since she was so encouraged this year by hanging her pride flag that she's going to purchase a Progress Pride flag sticker and place it in her window all year round. Good job for being another little LGBTQ human. Well, the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus is facing a lot of heat as they are being threatened and called pedophiles for a satirical video they created. It was supposed to be a fun song with a message that they'll convert your children and make them tolerant and fair, and now they're getting death threats. The right is claiming that the message of tolerance means actually changing children so that they become LGBTQ, and even bigger conservative trolls are accusing the chorus of singing about pedophilia, as to them, convert means molest, as they believe child abuse causes people to become queer. One troll went so far and started publishing names of members of the choir and claimed that they were registered sex offenders. The chorus members have received emails, phone messages, and even death threats on all social media platforms. But one of the threats that sticks out the most is a YouTube comment that says, we're going to put lead in your head. The choir, however, is not backing down from its message that children should be taught tolerance instead of hatred, and the choir argues that LGBTQ children are indoctrinated as society has attempted to convert them into being straight or cisgendered, yet it's LGBTQ people who are accused of recruiting children. The choir's message is this, after decades of children being indoctrinated and taught intolerance for anyone thinking other, from using the Bible to reparative therapy, it's our turn to have dedicated ourselves to be role models teaching and spreading the message of love and tolerance through our music. Well, as we speak, the San Francisco Gay Men's Chorus is attempting to remove the video so that they don't have to face any more of these trolls or any more of this backlash. 
So if you come across the video online, do me a favor and scroll right past as they don't need any more heat to this fire. Well, we've reached that moment where it's time to discuss we are who we are because of the history we've created. So let's check out the history from this last week. Well, in 1907, a Mexican painter Frida Kahlo was born. She was a bisexual and polio survivor and was honored with a U.S. postage stamp in 2001. Happy birthday, Frida. In 2010, U.S. District Court Judge Joseph Taro in Massachusetts becomes the first to rule that a key section of the Marriage of Defense Act is unconstitutional, bringing marriage equality that much closer. And in 2014, the first White House LGBTQ Innovation Summit takes place to discuss ways to use technology in helping the LGBTQ and their community challenges. Well, that's it for me. I have a very exciting day full of Gatorade and laxatives. So when you're enjoying your day, think of me. Because girl, I'll be going through it. If you've yet to like, subscribe, or follow, please do so you get my weekly videos in your feed. And as always, check out lgbtqnation.com. If you see an article that you think I should mention in one of my videos, let me know in a comment or DM me. And remember to be nice. That's right. Pull a Michelle. Go high when they go low. But if that don't work, burn the bitch good. All right, guys. Have a great, great week, and I'll see you next Sunday.